Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Dash Brandon. Today we're going to be showcasing this melee build I put together and I'm calling it the God Tier melee build. I think it's so good. I'm over here in 140 encampment missions. Just going ham. Just going into the middle of the encampment mission and just going ham. Just doing all kinds of damage. Surviving everything. It's so good. We also only have three people, so I don't even have four-person stats. And that's the... That's another time that this... Outlander is dead. <laughs> that's besides the point. We're talking about how good this build is. So, because of this... Specific modifiers, I threw on the uh, Spectral Sword so that we can have some mobility, if we please. And as long as we're attacking things and killing things, you can see that this is actually no problem that someone's dead, there's only two of us, we're tanking a whole heck of a lot of stuff here. We're not really trying to get out of much other than the slowing fields and the bees. Those are the only things that we're really trying to get away from. And with Shadow Stance up, because it's always going to be up as long as we're meleeing things, we have a 15% melee buff and we get a little bit of more armor on top of everything. Look at that. We weren't even worried. That whole time. Where is she? There she is. Let's just blink in on her and get her. There's a guy over there that we need to kill. I don't, I don't know what we're doing about him, really. Oh. Someone's dying to him, for one. This guy's having a hard time. There you go. I got you, bud. Maybe if you try my build, you might not die as much. So we're gonna go ahead and drop our drone in the middle of all this. We're gonna jump in and just start going ham. That dragon slash didn't even kill a lot of enemies. But we're in here just living our best life. We're staying so healthy, look at that. We're not really dropping below like 80% HP. Not ever. Not ever. Really? Who built that thing? All right, so you might be interested in why we have the, uh, the Mythic Storm King's hammer here. And that's because this build is um, weapon type independent. That means that you can use swords, you can use scythes, you can use a baseball bat, you can use a hammer, you can use the Storm King's fist and fist everything. You can use whatever melee weapon you prefer. You like Spectral Blade and only Spectral Blade? Go for it. You're not going to be able to right click very much with this build. Um, but you'll be able to to just survive. And you'll have the mobility of it. So at least you'll have that. That was a rocket launcher and they only came down to half health. It's actually kind of disappointing. Alright. We're completely surrounded here. Living our best life. Strafing slightly. Just trying to put damage on the blasters. Killing that blaster, moving to the next blaster. Continuing to put damage on it. Oh, he backhanded us. Oh, you're not supposed to do that to me. All right. As you may notice from our hero, we have assassination up at all times. We get a, I wanna say it's 90% damage buff. As soon as we hit five uh, strikes with our sword. So as soon as we hit something five times, we're doing 90% more damage. That's a ridiculous amount of more damage. Then you throw onto that the 50% damage bonus from, as you can tell, we're using uh, Rock and Riff. So as you can tell, we're gonna get another 50% damage on top of that, and we're gonna get melee attack speed. We're gonna do the fist here just to show you that this is also good. So we're gonna hit some stuff. Oh, look at that, he had a really good Dragon Slash there which also makes it a little bit harder for us to survive, but that's okay. We'll be okay. It's harder, but not impossible. There we go. Um, oh, there's a guy up there. Oh, come to me. Don't worry, we'll, we'll knock him down there so everyone can get a fair shot at him. So you can use a hammer if you want to be uh, more impact reliant with this build, and you just want to knock things around and stun them. Um, you can use your Spectral Blade, you can use Sights. Uh, I prefer this sword. Uh, not necessarily because it does a bunch of damage, but this sword that I got a long time ago, 
has a double crit, well, a triple crit chance, crit damage, and damage rolls. So uh, the attack speed really comes into handy when we're using that sword. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop catfishing you right here. I'm gonna stop with the clickbait. We're gonna show you the loadout. We got assassination plus 18% damage for five stacks. So that's I uh, that's 90% damage, right? Pretty sure. No. Yeah. I think it's 90% damage. We have blast from the past. We have a dead husk there. Um, we have battle beat. So we get rock and riff that gives us damage and attack speed after killing 10 enemies within nine seconds. We have saurian claws and saurian hide to activate blast from the past, make us tanky and give us uh, more damage. And then we have Monster Smash to give us Life Leech on our melees. And we have Survivalist, which is actually pretty important in this build. Because once we get to a high amount of health, we start to uh, lose a lot of our Life Leech from Iza. So the Survivalist keeps us uh, pretty healthy when we're already at high health. And Iza helps us recover when we're near death. So that's how those two are working together to keep us alive. As well as Shadow Stance, putting us into uh, increased armor. And of course, we get the melee attack damage and attack speed from all of that as well. So we're just gonna go in here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why we're running away so much, but it makes it harder for your tank. I am the dedicated tank here. I can tank the entire encampment, I promise. So we're, we're in the super encampments. I waited to start recording until we were already in the supers because watching anything less than the supers is probably just not that entertaining for most people. We'll be, we'll be honest here. We have a lot of drones available to us. All right, so we lost all of our buffs. Now we have shadow stance. We have our melee attack speed. We have our damage buff. We have rock and riff. We have everything that we need to tank all the things and kill all the things and stay super healthy. If you if you have these heroes, I recommend trying this build. Uh, as you can see, though, the sword, the spectral blade we're using is a 106, and we can still use it to stay alive just fine. We're still doing plenty of damage with just it, a 106. So you don't even have to use your 130s. You don't have to waste your mats for these high level encampments so that you can get more um, more mats for the Storm King fights since I'm recording this on a Monday. I'm thankful that I already got it done this week. But yeah, so now we're storing up mats for our last Storm King kill that we gotta get. We got the rocket launcher recently. I was pretty excited about it. I haven't made a video about it yet. I'm still, <laughs> still grinding the legendary perk up. You can also use your any hammer you have that gives you the smash or the new sword. The new sword that came out this event can also give you some movement. But yeah, like I love this build. It's just so good. And we're not even gonna we're not even gonna hop onto our uh, our hoverboard here because we want to go in here and we want to do the big dick meteors. That's what we're gonna do. If we can get there in time. Uh, I guess that's good enough. Those are our big dick meteors. We stun off of that. Usually. The only thing that this build does not let you do is spam your heavy attacks. And there's other builds for that. This is a tanky as hell, survivable as hell melee build. So... If you want to do those sorts of things, then go ahead and do those sorts of things. This is not the build for you, but this is a very fun build. As you can see, we're just gonna... We're gonna run at the enemies that just killed our Dragon Scorch Ninja. And then we're gonna stand here in Shadow Stance and res him. It, it probably sounds a little on the cocky side, but I'm really, really excited about this build and I really want people to try it. We only got a few seconds until extraction, so hopefully we can kill everything. We're gonna go ahead and pop our second drone. The building here might screw us over. No! We did it. Nope. No, we didn't do it. 
Wow. Oh, we did do it. Loot. Yes. We got our mechanical parts. That's what I'm always hurting on. That is what I am always, always hurting on. Um, we weren't spamming Dragon's, Dragon Scorch. And we weren't spamming rocket launchers. But I think that we held up pretty good when it comes to the damage done. And we were with a pug. So none of these people I know. They didn't know what we were doing. Uh, they weren't trying to show me up, I don't think. But she did. I will I will say that Stud Doc 007 died less than our Dragon Scorch Ninja. And I feel sorry for him. I really do. Because I like the Dragon Scorch build and he seemed to be having some trouble. Maybe I need to revisit the Dragon Scorch build. I don't think that there's anything that's come out lately that would change it though. And this is all part of our our goal to um, update the the builds on the channel and to expand our own mind and think about new ways that we could be using. Oh, I didn't even know I had Mission Specialist Ninja. Think about new ways that we could be using um, using the, just the heroes that we get. I also like her. If you don't have her yet, get her soon. She will be going away very, very soon. Once again, our build, Assassin Sarah. She's part of the base set, so she's easy to come by. Everyone else here, except for survivalists, so these four, you will have had to play somewhat consistently in the last year. Maybe even just six months to have these four. Um, in fact, eh, it might be a year. Anyways, we got Battle Beat. Killing 10 enemies within 9 seconds gives us 50% damage and 32% attack speed decaying over 8 seconds. Uh, Saurian Claws gives us 5.5% of current health to melee weapon damage. I don't think I've hit a million health in this build yet, but I have seen over 800k. So if we, if we calculate her real fast, if we nerd it up, we have 800k. And then we multiply that by 5.5. Oh wait, no, that's not how that works. That's not how percentages work. Uh, 800,000 times 0 0.05 would be 5%. So 0 0.55 would be 5.5%. So we're adding 44,000 damage to our attacks when we're at full health. I, full health. I have hit for 300k. Um, on a sword attack. I don't even know if that's super good anymore. I know like over a million is good for a shot from a weapon. So I feel like 300k is pretty good for a melee. I don't know. Anyways, we lost our music as we clicked off. So we're getting 5.5%. That's on top of Battle Beat when that activates. That's on top of Assassination when that activates. That's, how, that's probably how we're getting up into those 300ks. Uh, we have Saurian Hide that gives us armor along with... Shadow Stance, so whenever we kill something in melee, we go to Shadow Stance for 4 seconds, giving us 60 armor and 15% movement speed. So we have a total of 93 armor at all times whenever we kill something. Um, and we stay in Shadow Stance for pretty much the entire fight. Um, we have Monster Smash to give us Life Leech, and we have Survivalist to give us base health over 3 seconds. Uh, on a kill, we have stationary hover turret, and we have adrenaline rush, but you saw me literally never use it that entire mission. So that tells you that you could swap it with a box if you want, you know, stuff to farm. Uh, you can swap it with whatever, you can leave it as adrenaline rush. Uh, I recommend this build in anywhere where you can be a ninja effectively. Um, in defense missions, that's harder to recommend. In dungeons, it's great. In encampments, it's great. In survivor missions, it's great. Um, in defense missions, it's a little bit harder to be an effective melee unit. Any of the melee units, melee constructor, melee soldier, if that's your jam. Um, it's a, a little bit more difficult to be effective melee in the defense missions. Uh, maybe like a cat four, if you don't wanna build like all kinds of traps and everything, you can funnel them into a funnel and then just melee them. That's something that you could do. Anyways, I'm Dash Brandon. If you would like to help support the channel, that will pop up on the screen right now. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it. This build I'm super stoked about. 
I'll see you guys next time. By the way, if you if you put in my code on Epic, Epic gives me a small percentage, very small percentage, of what you give them. They've been telling us that we need to be more clear about that, so I'm trying to be more clear about my affiliate status, though I'm pretty sure most people understand what they're doing. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.